Hi, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with the AP Physics 2016 um, Physics 1 free response questions. So let's get into number three here. A long track and an inclined ankle theta to the horizontal has small speed bumps on it. The bumps are evenly spaced distance d apart as shown in the figure above. The track is actually much longer than shown with over 100 bumps. A card of mass m is released at rest from the top of the track. A student notices that after reaching the 40th bump, the cart's average speed between successive bumps no longer increases, reaching a maximum value v average. This means that the time interval taken to move from one bump to the next bump becomes constant. In the figure below, sketch a graph of the cart's velocity v as a function of time the moment it reaches bump 41. Okay, so after it's going 40, it's sort of like accelerating, then slows down. The accelerating slows down, so the average. Now, it's accelerating due to gravity, so it's under a constant force, which means constant acceleration, so the velocity has to be constant. So it'll be kind of going like this, then drops back down, then drops back down. Kind of go like that, and these should be straight lines. Why straight? Why is that important? It's under constant acceleration. And then V average is kind of like that. V average. Okay. Suppose the distance between bumps is increased, but everything else stays the same. Is the maximum speed of the cart now greater than, less than, or the same as it was when the bumps are closer together? Greater. There is more time to accelerate. Between bumps. <clears throat> when the bumps return to the original spacing, the track is tilted to a greater ramp angle theta. Is the maximum speed of the cart greater than, less than, or the same as when? Greater than. Larger acceleration. Increasing the angle will increase the force on the the force of gravity on it, right? It'll because because the force in this direction is um, mg cosine theta. Mm, sine theta. Wait, why am I saying yeah sine theta? Yeah. So the the steeper I make the angle, the more gravity's force is gonna affect it. D, before deriving an equation for a quantity such as V average, it can be useful to come up with an equation that is intuitively expected to be true. That way the derivation can be checked later to see if it makes sense physically. A student comes up with the following equation for the cart's maximum average speed. Okay, to test the equation, a student rolls a cart down the long track with speed bumps many times in front of a motion detector. The student transfers the mass M of the cart with each trial, but keeps everything else the same. The graph shown below is the student's plot of the data. So he's showing a linear relationship with mass. Yes, because his equation was a linear relationship. Between M and V average. I mean, I don't know. Does it look like a line? Uh, it looks like a line to me. I can't think of a better trend it would be. So the, it's, it's a line. It's a linear relationship. Another student suggests that whether or not the data above are consistent with the equation, the equation could be incorrect for other reasons. Does the equation make physical sense? Well, let's see what happens. As I increase d, that's the spacing, right? Um, v average goes down. Is that what d is? But I th said it should go up. So the d is wrong. The sine theta seems okay. I think it's no. As d increases, V average should increase. Think of it this way. Say D were infinite. Say there was just a bump and a bump a mile away, right? Well, it's just going to continue accelerating, accelerating, going faster and faster. It's definitely going to be going much faster over that time. So, okay, I think that's all of it. So let's look at the scoring guidelines. Um, question three. Yep, constant slope and it jagged like that. 
Um, greater than. Um, there's more time between bumps. For connecting the card is more time distance accelerate between bumps. Yep. Okay. The more more space or time to accelerate build up speed between bumps. Okay. Yeah. So that's fine. Um. Greater than. For indicating acceleration is greater or the component of the gravitational force increases. So that's right. You can also do it in terms of energy, which is fine. Two points. Um. No. Pfft. It doesn't look linear to you. Let me let me see. Let me see about this. Okay, fine. If you want to say that's not linear, that's like really close. There's, oh, actually, <laughs> I drew the line. Yeah. I, I for some reason I thought that was zero. I don't know why I didn't see zero. No, it's definitely not linear in that sense. The slope is linear, but the y-intercept shouldn't be. So yeah, I had I got this one wrong, definitely wrong. It is a linear relationship, but it should be like when m is zero, v average should be zero, and that's not what we're getting on the data. Although his data is super weird, like no mass. I guess he's ignoring the mass of the cart, but you know he really should include the mass of the of the cart anyway. Um, so didn't get that one, and the correct answer is no. Um, no. The distance dependency is incorrect. Okay. So, yeah. Well, I hope you found that helpful. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next. Oh, please leave a comment, like, or subscribe. I'll see you in the next video where I cover the um, next uh, next free response question for AP Physics One. Thanks for watching the video guys. I just want to let you know that I offer free homework help on Twitch or Discord. So uh, just stop on by if you have any homework questions or you just want to learn about different parts of math and physics and hang out. Hope to see you there.